Hi folks, uh, Dane from socialbookshelves.com here. Today I'm filming on my iPhone because my camera. Today I'm going to do the nine circles of hell tag. So I saw this on uh, Let's Read. Um, so oh, I've forgotten the guy's name. Is it Brock? Brock. I want to say Brock. Yeah, so he did the nine circles of hell tag and he uh, said he was going to tag anyone who's read uh, Dante's Inferno, which I think I've read. Let me have a look. So I have read Dante's Inferno, although I did have to check. So I obviously didn't pay that much attention. Um, so he said anyone who's read this is tagged. So I was like, yes, tagged, even though I could have just done it anyway, really. Um, let's get started. Question number one, Limbo. What book have you read the first in the series of, but won't be reading the rest? Uh, okay, well that would probably be one that I've been sent, so you can probably see my, my eyes scanning my bookcase trying to find one. Um, I'll tell you what, um, I'll tell you what actually, there's one here. And I gave this book quite a good review, this is uh, When the Heavens Fall by Mark Turner, and it's basically, it's a fantasy epic, but it was about 600 pages, first in the series, and it was a very good start. But I couldn't help but think I should be reading Game of Thrones, because I haven't read Game of Thrones. So I could be reading Game of Thrones and instead I was reading Mark Turner, which, you know, no, no I've got nothing against you, Mark, but I probably should read Game of Thrones. Question two, Lust. What book can't you wait to get your hands on? Um, I suppose this would be uh, Gravedigger by Michael Israel Jarvis. Um, so he's one of my fellow authors at Book Trait, but he's also a friend of mine. And I've got his uh, original self-published version of Gravedigger. But actually, uh, yesterday, or at least yesterday at the time of filming, on, on Halloween, um, Gravedigger was re-released through Book Trait, which is my publisher. And it's got this really nice new cover and just nice editing and everything. I, I, I really want to uh, reread it, so yeah, that. Gluttony! What book or series could you read over and over again? This would be uh, Philip Pullman's His Dark Materials trilogy. So I, I actually just recently reviewed the first book, Northern Lights. Um, basically, I'm trying to go back through and re, uh, review every book I've ever read. So I'm up to Philip Pullman, um, alphabetically by author surname. And that's my favorite book ever. So it was a fun review to write, but also equally, either that book or that series, I could happily do just the one book or all three. Um, yeah, that. Greed! What book do you need multiple copies of, even though you own enough of them? I can only think of one answer for this. So, we're going... <laughs> we're going for No Rest for the Wicked by Dane Cobain, because I've got... Well, I've got these four. I've got one up there. Um, I've got one up there, actually, that I wrote on at Glastonbury. I've got loads at work, because I'm Dane Cobain, by the way. Just should clarify that. And this is my book. Go buy it. <laughs> So, this is the well, I mean, this is the one I've got the most copies of. So, but I am trying to sell them. So, you know, come and find me or danecobain.com forward slash no rest for UK or forward slash no rest USA for USA, and that'll take you to the Amazon page. Thank you. Right, let's go. Wrath. What book did you hate and would never recommend? Well, I don't know because there's there's quite a few of them that I start and don't necessarily finish. I tell you what, oh, I tell you what, here's one. This one was terrible. Sorry, Janet Rosina West, uh, author of Rosie Rink Star Making It Happen. This was really bad. This was so bad. I can't remember what I gave it, but it wasn't much. One or two, maybe. Uh, yeah. In my defense, it was sent to me. Heresy. What book or series that most people despise did you love? I would go for the uh, the Heroes of Olympus uh, series by Rick Riordan. He, he, uh, I got sent The Blood of Olympus, which is, to be fair, the last book in the series. And I'd not read any of the others, and I read it, and I didn't really get what the fuss was about. So, you know. Oh no, that's the other way around. But again, the most people despised that I loved. There was a Graham Greene one. The, the closest I can think of was there was this Graham Greene book, and I think it was... Um, um, Dr. Fisher of Geneva or The Bomb Party and when I posted my review on Amazon um, I found five people had reviewed it and each had given it a different rating so there was one one star, one two star, you know um, and then I ruined it by giving it I think four stars but um, and then I got a comment on my blog about it as well from someone and they were like yeah this book was terrible 
But I thought it was good, so, you know, screw you. Violence! Which dystopian series had the most violence in your opinion? I'm gonna have to go, uh, I'm gonna have to do a let's read. He went for Battle Royale and it is a very good book. Um, where is it? I've got it up here somewhere. There we go, I see it. And I, oh, a very good book. I think I gave it a nine or a 10. Um, yeah, you should read this book. Kushan to I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. But um, yeah, that was, that's, I mean, I don't read that, that, that many dystopian novels, to be honest. Or even when I do read them, like stuff like, um, I read one not long ago by a, a author who's, rec who's since then he's become a good friend of mine actually, but a guy called Hans Hershey, and he wrote a book called uh, Willem of the Taffel, which is a post-apocalyptic thriller. But there's no violence in it really as such, because all the violence happened before when the book's set. The book itself is actually kind of an exploration of, I suppose, people's attitudes and, and how we don't want a nuclear war to happen before we all realise we should all be nice to each other and not kill each other. Fraud! Which book did the cover or synopsis not truthfully depict the story? Ah, oh, I don't know. That's a difficult one, isn't it? I honestly don't know. I can't think of one that, that springs to mind. Yeah, I'm going for that. There's a book down there called Pop Charts. And um, the cover and synopsis made it sound like it was going to be a lot funnier than it was because it wasn't very good. Best I could do, sorry. Treachery! In which, bit, in which book series did the protagonist start strong and get worse as time went on? Again, that's another tricky one really, isn't it? Or maybe it's got to be one of the um, one of Pratchett's particular characters, I guess. I mean, like you could, you could have one of the mini-series from the, from the Discworld. I think the witches books in the Discworld, I always thought they started really strong and then they, they got a bit, bit weaker. So anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe, check out other videos and stuff. I'm going to tag people. So I am going to tag, ooh, who am I going to tag? We'll do, um, what's his name, Max at Well Done Books. Um, we'll do, what's her name, let's do um, books and other nerdy things. Kate Carla should remember that because that's that's a good name and um we'll do um jean from bookish thoughts because she'll like this actually because she loves classics and all that that kind of stuff she'll be able to explain what the nine circles of hell actually are rather than all this fraud bullshit <laughs> anyway see you later bye